All right, we are going to be creating some pantry pop art. So your first step is to go to your pantry and find something that you like. So you can pick anything from a box of food. You could, um, here's a little snack of some cookies. You could do a soup can like Andy Warhol. Or here I have this giant jar of peanut butter. I love some peanut butter. So pick a type of food from your pantry. It doesn't matter what it is. Just something that you want to draw. So I challenge you to try and draw the form. The form means that it's going to be three-dimensional rather than just a shape, which is going to be flat. So um, this would be a cylinder, which is a form. And I'm going to think, I think I'm going to try and draw this peanut butter. So to create the cylinder shape, I'm going to look at the peanut butter while I'm drawing it to try and uh, mimic what it looks like. So I'm going to draw a curved line for the lid of the peanut butter. And then I'm gonna come down. My lines aren't straight, but that's okay. And then I'm going to curve the bottom as well. In this jar, it actually goes out and then in. So let me fix this. And then comes back in at the bottom. And then you, to make it look three-dimensional, I'll curve the bottom as well. And then I'll make the curved top. to make my peanut butter jar. So now that I have the basic shape down, it looks a little bit more like a three-dimensional shape rather than just a flat shape. Um, but if you're struggling with trying to make it look three-dimensional, that's okay. Just go ahead and draw a 2D shape, whatever you can try. Uh, so now I'm gonna draw the label. So that would be curved as well because this jar is round. And now I'm just gonna try and mimic everything that is on this label. All right, so I'm not gonna get every single detail that's on here, like the seven grams of protein. You can if you want, it's up to you. But pop art is about simple, bold imagery. So now I have the main portion of my peanut butter jar down. And so you're going to get any kind of black marker. I have this um, big Sharpie. And so I'm going to use this to outline now my jar. Okay, so now I have the drawing all outlined with these thick bold lines. I added a shadow on the lettering, like on the jar, and made that word a little bit thicker. And so now I challenge you to color it. So I'm gonna try and match the colors as best as possible using markers and color pencils. You use whatever you have available. And if you would like, you can add a background. In pop art, they use a lot of stripes and polka dots and bursts and things like that. You are totally welcome to add a background to yours. And now I'm going to color it. All right, so here we have it, my jar of peanut butter from the pantry, and then my recreation of my peanut butter jar. You can see that not everything is the same, but overall, I feel like I got the gist of the peanut butter jar. And this is pop art where we're simplifying and trying to mass produce, so we made it as simple as 
possible. And so now I'm gonna add a background just All for All right, fun. so here is my completed product, my Jif peanut butter jar from the pantry, drawn in pop art style with a pop art background. Remember, you do not have to do a background. It is optional, it is just for fun. I like drawing, I'm obviously the art teacher. So uh, this was fun for me. If you don't wanna do the background, that's okay. The main focus is drawing from observation. So that means looking at something and then trying to recreate it and doing our best to make it look more like a three-dimensional shape so that's the goal that we are aiming for and then also learning about pop art so I hope you guys enjoyed this project and had a good time happy creating